hello welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing with you guys my experience in a miss new jersey teen usa pageant um it was beyond wonderful it was beyond what i expected it was so much fun it was well worth the weekend um it was it was amazing like i'm so blessed that i was able to be part of that um so besides before the pageant weekend emailing and sending in money and all that things and all those things <laughs> um that was like the boring part i guess but it was fun too to you know pick out all the outfits you needed take the pictures you needed for the program book and all of that and yeah oh yeah they, they did give me a program book it's i think it's in my kitchen right now because we are bringing it to thanksgiving dinner to show my family but so, I will, it was, uh, last weekend, it was the 16th, 17th, and 18th, it was three days long, we were up in Parsippany, the Parsippany Hilton Hotel, it was beautiful, it was so much fun, and to begin, I had to be there at, uh, 1.30, we left here at 11, got there at 1, I got there, handed in my paperwork, I then went to the ballroom, where they had rehearsals, and they were, um, sitting the girls in groups of ten, the miss on this side, the teen on that side type deal. It wasn't too long before I went in my group of ten and went down to the hallway and sat and waited to get interviewed. Um, I was probably sitting there for 20 minutes, maybe. It wasn't that bad. Each interview was three minutes long, and, uh, by the time it was my turn, I went in, I sat down, um, I stated my name and said, like, you know, hello, like, I'm Corinne Heiner before I sat down, and then, uh, trying to, like, I have a cold, so I'm, like, brain dead, like, it's up here, but it's not coming out, so, yeah, um, <laughs> I did that, did my interview, it was amazing, it was, the judges were so nice, oh my goodness, they were so nice, um, after my interview, or after, like, the interview, you go and you get your picture taken. Well, actually, you go to the silver room. You get your gift bag and your sash. Then you get your picture taken. Um, this was my sash. I filmed this video three times already, so there's stuff all over my floor. This was my sash. It said Garden State Teen. It has a pretty little pin at the bottom. And then they hand you a gift bag filled with a whole bunch of goodies. So this was the gift bag. And everything I'm about to show you was in this bag. This bag was in it. This drawstring bag was in it. This little makeup bag was in it. I had dry shampoo and hairspray, a pen, a bag, a tag thing. This um, goes in the back of your phone. A dentist thing. And there was like a little white paper bag filled with candy and chips. That's the only piece that's left. I ate it on Friday because I was like starving. <coughs> and lotion. So that is everything that was in my gift bag. Super fun. Um, got my picture taken, then I went in, I changed into leggings, boots, and a flannel, purple one. Actually, what I'm wearing today for Thanksgiving is what I wore. Um, I, <coughs> I'm dying, sorry. Uh, I went into, back into the ballroom, and we also had all of our stuff in the back of the ballroom, too. I went, just chilled, made some new friends, um, and then after a little while, they started holding rehearsals, then we practiced how to walk, we were practicing our dances, we did that all throughout the night, then we had dinner, then we did more rehearsals, then we had, like, a little, like, orientation type thing, and then we got our room keys, went to bed. Saturday, woke up, breakfast at 8, um, or 7.30, no, uh, for us it was 8 to 8.30, um, I think, I don't know. So I did that breakfast, then we had more rehearsals, and then from 1.30 to 5, we had a big block time to get ready, do our hair and makeup and stuff. Some girls had appointments to get it professionally done. I did everything myself, just because I didn't want to spend the money to get it done, because you do have to pay. Um, and then it was showtime for the teens, because the Miss performed first on Saturday. So we had to be downstairs at 4.45. In our opening number dresses, we had to have everything else in the dressing room that we were going to need, which would have been our evening gown and active wear. 
So we performed, they showed a little video to open the show. Each group does their dance. There are four different groups because there are four different dances from easy to super hard. I was in group three. And I did my dance. Then group four went, then we all had to line up in evens and odds. The evens were on the left side of the stage. The odds were on the right side of the stage. And you just, I was number 28. They did give you a button, but they collected them at the end of the weekend. Um, so, yeah, I was number 28. And I went up, I said, Kurenheiner Garden State. Because that is what my sash said. Yeah, that's what my sash said. So that's what I had to say. And then we booked it down to the dressing rooms, put on our active wear. Then we came back, we performed in our act, like performed, we just did our walk, and then they had us go back out in group judging in groups of 10. After active wear, you run down, put on your evening gown, you do the exact same thing, and then the pageant is done for Saturday. Um, so that was Saturday. Your scores from Friday's interview and Saturday's active wear and evening gown are combined, they're added together. And you do not get judged on the opening number or, like, saying your name. You don't get judged on anything that you're wearing your pink dress for. Then on Sunday, the teens performed first. I think the show was at 2 or something. I honestly have no idea. So we performed first. We did our opening number in the pink dress again. Oops, sorry about that. Then we, um change into our evening gown and did like color blocking so like all the blues went out all the reds went out and you know kind of just paraded around the stage just for fun it was a lot of fun we all lined up and from then they called the top 17 and who had like the most coats and stuff for the coat drive and things like that those top 17 I did not make in the top 17 but that is okay but the top 17 then had to run back down to the dressing rooms get their active wear on and um, like, compete again in active wear, then they had to run down, put their evening gown right back on, compete in their evening gown, and then from the top 17, when they're all in their evening gowns, they had them lined up really nice, they called out the top five. Those top five stayed on stage, the 12 got down, and the, tw the five were then asked a final question. The judges then picked, um, in order, the winner from that the fourth runner-up, the third runner-up, the second runner-up, the first runner-up, and the one that got crowned. Um, and then they did, like, the miss one after that. But I left right after the team one because I had school on Monday, and it was already, like, getting... It was already, like, almost 5, and it was a two-hour drive home, so I wouldn't have got home by, like, 7.30 because, like, it took a while for us to get out of there. But um, that is kind of, like, a really quick run do run do rundown of the whole entire weekend it was so much fun it was definitely out of my comfort zone comfort zone actually it kind of was kind of wasn't I love being on stage I love talking in front of people and just being myself and like not being the center of attention but like I just love being on stage like I absolutely just love it it was so much fun um people are like you know will you do it again if I do I would be in the miss one because I would be 19 and 19 year olds cannot do the teen one so I'd be in the miss um so maybe I will do it maybe I won't I don't know <laughs> um but it was a lot of fun all of the girls I met over the weekend were wonderful so a shout out to all of you I love you all um we're all in this big group chat and trying to like organize fun things to do and you're all amazing you did an amazing job last weekend it was so much fun and it was nice to be around girls that were themselves. It was just, it was amazing. We had a party Saturday night and just dancing and having a whole bunch of fun and just seeing, like, everyone just be themselves and be funny and be goofy. It was, it was a blessing to be involved in that. I am so blessed that I was able to do that. And if you have the opportunity, try it. It's so much fun. Um, yes, you're all competing against each other, but that all kind of just, like, just dissolves into like thin air and you're all best friends hanging out for the weekend doing like a fashion show like it was so much fun you kind of forget about like oh yeah I'm running up against you and it's kind of just like hey like want to sit next to me like want to come back to my room after or we can like hang out and like you know want to do this want to do that and it was so much fun and the staff that I worked with were amazing they were so nice so encouraging um 
and just so, like, personal, too. Like, you talk to them, it feels like you've known them forever. They were so, so nice. So if you ever have the opportunity or you want to register for next year, do it. Try it. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, that was my experience at a pageant. It was a lot of fun. The Miss Teen USA, the Miss New Jersey Teen USA pageant was beyond, um, a life-changing experience. It really was. It was just, it was so eye-opening, too. It really was. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'll leave my Instagram name down below so you can go look at my pictures, and I have a little story saved for it, for, like, the highlights thing. You can go look at that, check them out, and go follow them on Instagram. Go check them out. Go look at the new, um teen that they crowned. She's beautiful. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>